G'day guys, it's the Aussie Engineer here and welcome to our video on what is Python. This is the first video in the intro to Python series. Python is a popular programming language that has been gaining a lot of popularity lately. In this video, we'll explore what Python is, why it is so popular, and how you can get started with it. So, Python is a high level interpretive programming language that was first released in 1991. It is known for its simplicity, ease of use, and versatility. Python is widely used in many fields such as web development, data science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. So what does that actually mean, I hear you say? Well, a high-level interpretive programming language is a type of programming language that is designed to be easy for humans to read and write, and is not directly executed by the computer's hardware. Instead, it requires an interpreter program to translate the code into machine language that the, com that it, that the computer can understand and then execute. In contrast to a low-level programming language like assembly language, high-level programming languages are generally easier to use and require less coding to accomplish a task. They also tend to be more portable and platform independent as they can be written once and run on multiple platforms without modification. Examples of high-level interpretive programming languages include Python, JavaScript, Ruby, and PHP. So why is Python so popular? Python's popularity is attributed to its simplicity and versatility. It has an easy to read syntax that makes it easy for beginners to learn. Python has a vast library of tools and resources that make it easy to build complex applications. Additionally, Python is cross-platform, which means it can be run on multiple operating systems such as Windows, Mac, and Linux. To get started with Python, you need a Python interpreter and a code editor. There are many free resources available online that can help you learn Python. Some of the popular tools include Jupyter Notebook, PyCharm, and Spyder. Personally, I use a mix of Jupyter Notebook and PyCharm, depending on what I'm doing. For learning purposes, I highly recommend starting with PyCharm, as it is easy to get started in and the community edition is free. To install it is as simple as downloading the appropriate installer and running it. This screen is an example from PyCharm and has some very simple Python code up here and its outputs down here. How we do this will be covered in the course later. In conclusion, Python is a powerful and versatile programming language that is easy to learn and use. With its vast library of tools and resources, Python can be used for many applications from web development to machine learning. So if you're interested in learning programming, we encourage you to subscribe to the channel and follow the Intro to Python series. Good luck guys and stay safe out there.